Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to see how to find out the internal rate of return of a project when the cash inflows from the project are in the form of an annuity. Of course, the easiest way would be to use a financial calculator, but if we don't have one, then we are going to have to take this longish procedure. And for that purpose, we have some information here with us. The amount of initial investment is $20,000 followed by the cash inflows of $7,500 in each of the next five years. So that since the amount is the same in the next five years, in each of these years, so it is an annuity. So step one is going to be to find out the payback period. Let us do that. If we look at the cash flows of the first two years, we realize that out of the $20,000 that we need to recover, we recover 7,500 plus 7,500 that is $15,000 already. So that the number of years before total recovery of $20,000 is two. Now coming into the third year, we have with us $5,000 unrecovered amount. So we write that $5,000 unrecovered and we divide this by the amount of cash flow in the third year, which is this 7,500. And so that this is going to give us a payback of 2.67 years. Now what we are going to do is in step two, we are going to locate the present value interest factor of the annuity, which is closest to this number 2.67. And for that, we are going to look into the row for the fifth period. Why fifth period? Because we have five years in question. So when we use our tables, we find that we have a factor 2.689 and the corresponding interest rate is 25%. And we have another factor 2.635, which is quite close to 2.67. The corresponding interest rate is 26%. So therefore, we can conclude that our internal rate of return is between 25% and 26%. Now, if we want to find out the exact number of IRR, what we need to do is we need to find out the NPV at 25% first, and then the NPV at 26%, and then later interpolate our results. So let us do that. Find out the NPV of the project at 25% which is going to be easy because our cash inflows are in the form of an annuity. Now the NPV is when we take the present value of the cash inflows, that is the present value of this stream. And from the present value of this stream, we take out our initial investment. So let us do that. First of all, let us find out the present value of our cash inflow stream, which is an annuity. So we multiply this 7500 by the present value interest factor of the annuity at 25% for the fifth period, which we have already located 2.689 here. So we write here 2.689, close the bracket and subtract the amount of initial investment $20,000. And this is going to give us $20,167.50 minus 20,000. And that gives us a positive NPV of $167.50, which is still above zero. We know that the internal rate of return is uh, that rate of discount at which the NPV turns to zero. And since we are seeing that at 25%, the NPV is still positive and we want it to go further down towards zero. So we resolve for NPV at a higher discount rate let us take 26% now. So at the rate of 26%, our NPV is going to be, we again follow the same procedure, $7,500 uh, of cash inflows each year multiplied by the interest factor of the annuity at 26% for the fifth period, which is this here, we have already found that out. So we write it here 2.635. And from this, we take out the amount of our initial investment and that is going to return to us 19,762.5 minus $20,000 and that is equal to a negative NPV of $237.50 and this one now has fallen below zero. So we have two adjacent rates 
beneath, uh, between which the IRR may lie and we have verified our earlier result that the IRR would be between 25 percent to 26 percent. Now if we want to find out the exact number we need to interpolate and for that we need to take a few steps. Let us look at step number one. Step one is to find out the absolute difference between the present value of cash inflows at the lower discount rate which is this number here present value of cash inflows at the lower discount rate so let us write that 20167.5 and the present value of cash inflows at the higher discount rate which is this one here so let's copy and paste it here and this difference is going to give us 405 in the second step we are going to take the absolute difference between the present value of cash inflows at the lower discount rate which is still this so let's copy and paste it here and our desired present value desired present value my friends is twenty thousand dollars because if the present value of your inflows is twenty thousand your IRR would become zero so your desired present value is twenty thousand so let's take the difference which is one sixty seven point five step C is to divide the result of step 2 with the result of step 1 so we write here 167.5 divided by 405 and that gives us 0 0.41 after that what we need to do is we need to add this 0 0.41 to the lower discount rate which is this 25 point, uh, 25% so your internal rate of return therefore is 25% plus 0.41 that is 25.41%. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.